Are you ready to level up in Zapier? These five tips will help you automate faster and work less. Let's dive in. First up is organizing your zaps. When you have a lot of zaps, things can get messy fast. To keep things tidy, you can rename each zap based on the task it performs. You can do this in the editor at the top of the screen or rename in bulk by clicking the three vertical dots on the right side of the dashboard. No need to open each one. You can also rename individual zap steps, which is especially helpful in longer workflows by clicking the three dots next to a step and selecting Rename Step from the drop-down menu. This makes it easier to quickly understand what each step does at a glance. Finally, you can organize your zaps into folders and subfolders, so it's easier to find and manage them. You can nest up to five folders within a parent folder. To create one, click the Create button, select New Folder, and then move the zaps into it using the three dots next to each zap. Next up is using Zapier's Copilot. This AI-powered tool gives you a jump start when you're not sure where to begin. Just type in what you're trying to accomplish and Copilot will suggest the right apps and steps for your zaps. Once you've got your suggestion, you can pick the steps you'd like and tweak any of them to fit your workflow. Copilot can also help during and after setup. Use it to edit, troubleshoot, or get insights on how to improve your zap. After that is Zapier's Canvas. With Canvas, you can create a bird's eye view of how your zaps, apps, data, and teammates connect within a specific process. It helps you outline the big picture, capturing every step and tool from the first touch point to the last. You can add notes, link directly to zaps, and easily rearrange steps to better visualize your workflows. And if you're not sure where to begin, Canvas offers pre-built templates to help you get started quickly. It's perfect for mapping out complex workflows before you build them. Last is using Zapier's pre-built tools like Pass and Filters. If you want your zaps to run only when specific conditions are met, these tools are key. Filters lets you stop a zap unless certain criteria are true, like only continuing if a form response includes a valid email. Pass, on the other hand, allow your zap to branch into different outcomes based on the rules you set, like sending a different message depending on the customer's subscription type. These tools give your workflows flexibility and control without any code. With these tools in your toolkit, you'll be building faster, smarter zaps in no time. And if you like this video, feel free to like and subscribe for more tips on automation.